In today's wrap-up, as Azerbaijani forces have now moved into the region of Karvajar, the road between Vartenis and Karabakh has been cut off, meaning that the Berdzor stepanakert Highway is now the only entryway into Artsakh. Armenia has ordered 600,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines, which could vaccinate 300,000 people, which is about 10% of the total population. This was reported by Health Minister Arsen Torosyan. The time of delivery and the companies supplying are yet to be revealed. In other news, Armenia's Economic Activity Index, presented by the country's Statistical Committee, shows declines in many sectors compared to the same months in the previous year. Armenia's overall economic activity in October 2020 has seen an 8.1% decline compared to October 2019. Economic activity in September 2020 declined by 3% compared to the same month of the previous year. The sales and services sector has decreased by 21% this year. Industrial production declined by 3%, foreign trade decreased by 19%, with imports decreasing by 26%, and the only sector that has not seen a decline is the construction sector, seeing a 0.3% increase. In terms of aid, the Aznavur Foundation has sent 35 tons of humanitarian aid to Armenia, hailing from France and Switzerland. In addition to the 35 tons being flown in, the foundation has already sent several dozen tons of medical equipment. Most of the aid will be used to support the healthcare system. The German government has allocated 2 million euros to the International Committee of the Red Cross to support their work in Nagorno-Karabakh. In terms of the international arena, the French Senate passed a resolution calling for the recognition of the independence of Artsakh. The French government responded, stating that a unilateral recognition of Artsakh would not ameliorate the situation. Armenia welcomed the move, whilst Azerbaijan has called for France to lose its co-chair position in the OSCE Minsk Group. In our studio, political consultant Eric Hakopian gave his take on how Armenia's foreign policy should approach the power centers and countries of the world, including Russia, the US, Europe, Iran, the Arab world, China, and India. And finally, our team took a series of photos from the Lachin region, which is the last region to be handed over to Azerbaijan. A five-kilometer corridor will be preserved under the management of the Russian peacekeepers. The pictures show Russian peacekeepers, church services, fleeing Armenians, and all on the backdrop of the region's pristine natural beauty.